to know how we can prevent cholera. And as of 8th January this year, there were 10 suspected cases of cholera, of which two cases have been confirmed. The investigation teams established that the current outbreak of cholera was due to fecal contamination of our environment. Since the affected community and the household have built close to the waste drainage channels with inadequate latrine facilities and unhygienic home conditions. If we have a shortage of the budget, if we have a shortage of personnel, then do that. Let's come out clearly and support you and help the people of Uganda. This response that we are having right now in Kampala, do we have plans? Are we trying to make sure that supplies and the responses or the, the, the plan for in case it, there's an outbreak in communities, for example, in Karamoja, where I come from? There is also the poor waste management system in Kampala. It has become very expensive for an average resident of Kampala to dispose of garbage. You must pay. And this has been actually laid out to private companies. And we have got the Minister of Kampala here. What we need, Kampala has grown and we must have the system of sewage in place. And this should apply to all towns in Uganda. To already be congested Kampala. 50 years down the road, we can't have two cities. What is wrong with Uganda? Kampala was built in a Ashanti area and we need to work on drainages very much. Otherwise, the seven hills which make up the city, the down part of the city is flooded when it rains. As we talk now, we have only 11 public toilets in, the, in Kampala. And these are mostly in the CBD, the central business district. Leave alone the facilities we have in markets. But those ones which can be accessed by passers-by, people who come to, through the city, they are only living. And we need funding to make sure that we construct more facilities. ...and how to take preventive measures, there are clarification issues, another matter that...